Okay. Alrighty. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How is everybody doing on this Friday, the 29th of October, 2021? Down here, you can see, can you see her? There she is. There's Miss Twinkle Toes. And Jonah is on his way. And there he is. There he is. Jonah. He uh, came in and he was uh, constantly meowing. Sir Wine a lot again. <laughs> so anyway, um, if you've just joined my channel, thank you so very much for stopping in and spending uh, these next 20, 30 minutes with me. There he goes again, Sir Wine a lot. <laughs> um yeah so welcome 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 um i am located in the interlake region between lakes winnipeg and manitoba um and manitoba is located in the center of canada it's a big province but not as big as ontario or quebec um so, yeah, um, I am working on, let's see here. This is Father Christmas, or what I call Father Christmas, okay? So, um, I am, right now, I'm working down here below where the foxes are. So, I was able to get done down, see here? Down uh, the center of Father Christmas's um, coat or whatever he's wearing. And now I'm working right here along the bottom. So then I'll start working up this way. Now somebody was asking, and I think it was Jeannie. Were you asking there? You thought there was a lot of confetti in here? Okay. I don't. I can see where you get that, but it's not bad because what you do is you follow along, right? You follow along a path. So even here, okay, you think, oh, wow, that's a lot of confetti, but not if you follow the path. So I would go from here to here, down here, back over, you know, just, just find your path through. So like I said, I'm, I'm working on down here at the bottom. And then I'll start up this way. So even though it looks like a lot of confetti, it really isn't. I've got some that are horrendous for confetti. Absolutely horrendous. And um, I'm not going to be showing it to you yet. But I'm going to be giving away, I'm going to have a, um, yeah, giveaway. Uh, sometime in November, it will be uh, one for Christmas. You'll, you won't get it done before Christmas, I can guarantee. I think it would take you at least a year or two years of steady working on it but yeah I will be um, offering that up as a draw and um, just know it's a I look at it as a Christmas one so but it's big and it will cost a fortune to ship yeah so uh but I think if you're a diehard stitcher, you know, that would be something for you. <clears throat> and that, but it's only open um, to subscribers of my channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, perhaps considering 
uh, consider subscribing. And just um, click the notification bell uh, down below and you'll be notified as soon as I post up a new video. Um, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to try and get my videos to go because I do run into a lot of technical difficulties. <laughs> a lot of them. So, now I know, I haven't looked at it on my TV, but I think uh, with doing these here on my phone, that the picture is more, it's like this. And I wish that I could do it so that it was, you know, would fit um, the other way. But if I turn my phone around the other way, it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't, it's not as, as good, I think, so... Mm -hmm. but I have no other choice because I can do longer videos here on my phone and uh, I'd rather use my iPad but it's uh yeah I'm just running out of space there so I can only do maybe at the most 20 minutes and then I can run into problems. So I'm hoping over time it will release more space. So, oh, Jonah. <laughs> what a whiner. Uh, what? I have a wiener and a whiner. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was watching... Uh, watch the Fox News um, update watch as well as other updates about what POTUS has got planned for you all down in the States hi Jonah hi Jonah hi goodbye Jonah and um I couldn't believe it, that he is proposing now that all those migrants that were separated from family members, okay, um, with migrants coming across the border, that if families were separated, okay, that each person will receive, get this, $450,000. For four hundred and fifty grand, i will go and say that I'm separated. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. And then they've got people who are starving, homeless, um, can't get Medicare or Medicaid or whatever it is down in the States. Um, they can't pay for their medications. Um, they can't pay for operations. They can't do any of that. But they're going to be giving illegal immigrants, hi Jonah, um, 450000 U.S. dollars. That's like 525,000 Canadian. And it's like, oh my. If you start doing that. And and here they couldn't, uh, they were having trouble passing the bill to release more money so that they could help um people who were born in the U.S. and through COVID and everything who were um, losing their housing or, um, you know, whatever it was. 
and um, it, it it's just like I don't know, I don't know. I'm just flabbergasted by that. It's um, if if that was me, I uh, if that was if I lived in the U.S. Oh boy, I'd be picketing. I'd be doing whatever. You know, my parents came to Canada here from Germany in the 1950s. And they never got a handout. They had to, um, my father came first. And then my mother came and they were married in Canada. Sudbury, I think, no, the West Coast. Or the East Coast, I mean, sorry. Um... I don't know. I don't uh, I don't I don't know or Ontario. I don't know where they were married to tell the truth. Could have been Ottawa, could have been, I don't know Toronto. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, they had to learn the language cuz you had to pass the um nationality test and you had to do it in English not even French was done back then um, so yeah so they had to do it in English nowadays you have people coming and uh, they uh, they don't have to learn the language they bring their own cultures and everything else, and then they demand that um, they be recognized. You know, my parents came over legally, and they had to, um, I think for, it was either four years or five years, had to prove themselves that they were worthy enough to stay in Canada. And, um, yeah, and they did, obviously, because they lived the rest of their lives here. So, I know in, just in Winnipeg itself, that the housing units that are going up is unbelievable. And most of these will be for refugees, um, immigrants, that kind of thing. And, and paid for by the taxpayers. Right? I think for two years or something, three years, that their housing is paid for. And... I just wish that governments would stop with the handouts. Uh, you take care of your own first. And then you worry about everybody else later. Like, it's just, I am sorry for these people who are refugees. I really am. I understand and that. But when the government allows in... Um, um, men to bring in child brides that are like 12, 13 years old um, that, um, um, you know, there's rapists and murderers and thieves and, um, um, you know, ex-cons and everything else that come from outside of Canada and, and come here and uh, claim residency, you know. But all, all these new apartments that are going in are, I would say, 95% are for, for refugees. And here, they have seniors living in substandard housing. Um... Um, indigenous people living in substandard housing. Many don't have even running water. 
and um, or sewer systems or anything. I, it's just they don't have access to internet. They don't have access to proper schools. You know, and then they are bringing people in left, right, and center. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, what would you like? Yeah, Jonah's got to make his entrance. What would you like, Jonah? He wants something. And I think what he wants is food. But I'm not, I am not getting up. I am not getting up to, uh, sorry about that. Jonah's on my table there and it's uh, wobbly. So I apologize. Jonah, get down. Get down. There. So... Like, I think if you want to be refugees, like, and you are refugees, you are vetted. Um, you must have that, um, um, that you have some ways and means to support yourself within one year. And... I got enough here. Uh, where's my third one? Um, and that you look after your own families. Like some of these families are like 12 people. Jonah. They have 10 children. And they come here. You know. And then they produce more children. You know, like, yeah, and don't get me started on um, overpopulation. <laughs> that is a real thorn in my side, overpopulation. Yep. That's, um, and my son and daughter-in-law are just as guilty. They had eight kids. That's just. Yeah. No. Not not a good thing. But anyway. So, what is everybody doing today? Oh, sorry. Um Did I say I was up to 236? Yes, I gained two people yesterday. So, Thank you, 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 thank you. You can't see me, but I'm doing a happy dance. <laughs> so you're going to have to take my word for it that I'm doing a happy dance. It's, um, one day I'll have to show you my happy dance. <laughs> I'll have to set up the the camera and, and just... <laughs> Show you my, uh, I wish I could jig. I don't know if you, if um, people outside of Canada don't really know what jigging is, but it's, um, it's between the Irish clogging, um, you know, um, and polka and um, it's a mishmash. But the Métis really took it upon themselves and made it into, um, it's it's like tap dancing, um, polka, Irish dancing, clogging, all wrapped up into one. And um, Métis are, are, are absolutely famous for jigging. So... Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, Alexa, what's the forecast? Currently, 
currently, in Oakville it's 2 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds, with a high of 10 degrees and a low of 2 degrees. Happy Friday! Okay. So yeah, we're supposed to be getting snow Sunday to Monday, I think. Um, it's, a, it's a dreary day outside, but not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was not a nice day. It was, yeah. Jonah, Jonah, Jonah. Sir, wine a lot. So I didn't even read my my book there yesterday I was so tired at about I don't know two o'clock or so I was oh, I needed toothpicks for my eyes I tell you I couldn't I could not keep them open and I was fighting it because I did not want to lay down I absolutely did not want to lay down because I knew that would mess me up for uh, last night Jonah so uh yeah and I went to bed and then I started I finished writing in my journal and I was listening coast to coast and and then I um and then I started playing my game and I uh, no way I couldn't do anything after that I was really picking my eyelids off the floor. So, so I didn't read anything. I, I'm hoping to be able to read tonight because I'm, I'm getting close to finishing. I'm at about 73%, I think, um, done. Um, and uh, I'd like to get these books done by... Maybe Sunday. And um, I still have like, I don't know, close to 100 pages. I don't know, 95 or so pages left to go. So it's uh, very good. If, if you like post-apocalyptic, I can really, really, really recommend Mike Kraus. He's very good. And, of course, he has co-authors like Justin Bell, um, Marcus Richardson, uh, Kenny Soward. Um, I'm trying to think of her name. Uh, there's uh, Trisha. Trisha something or other. Um, and then there's... Something Cantrell. She's another author. And, um, yeah. Like, I don't know what I'm reading next. I have no idea. I have no idea what I am going to read next. It's, um, I have so many ebooks, and I have some physical books. So, with the house, okay, what's happening with the house? Juliet was talking to me before her data ran out. So, um, she was saying, just a minute, let me get a sip of water. Um, she was saying that the electrical has been hooked up there for the porch, he has to come and finish up more. But now Bobby can go in and start to put drywall up. Oh, um, Dwight the plumber has to come. He's supposed to be coming this morning. And um, they're going to put the water lines in for the washer. And... Um, so then um, Bobby can start working on the um, rest of the gyprock. Um, 
I think he's doing sanding today too. And it should be ready for priming on um, probably Sunday, Monday, I guess. So I've kind of settled down there on my anxiety over moving. So just think, if everything would have gone right, I would have been moving today. And tomorrow it would have been all done with. But, yeah, not the case. Not the case. So, but that's okay. I'm here for at least another month. Probably won't be moving until, oh, maybe between Christmas and New Year's. Maybe I can get to moving in between there. 27th, maybe. I don't know. So, it's, uh, yeah. No. 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 Yes, sir, wine a lot. Now you know how he, uh, how he got his name, Sir Wine a lot. Because that's what he is. He's a wine a lot. <laughs> so I should have set his food up before I started my video, but oh well. Alrighty, I think it's been, well, I think it's almost been a half an hour. I don't know because I can't see my, um, the numbers here on my phone here. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to, uh, continue stitching here. I have to clean out the dishwasher. I ran the dishwasher yesterday. And um, so I'm going to do that. He's up on his perch there on the sofa looking out the window. So maybe he'll be quiet for 30 seconds. <laughs> so, oh, he had a wood tick on him. He had a wood tick on him. I felt this bump. This lump there, and I wonder, I thought maybe it was something he'd gotten, you know, sticky in his fur. But I pulled and yanked on it, and turned out it was a wood tick. Now, there's still a lump there, and I have to see if maybe he's got another one. And um, it's, it wasn't very big, and it was very lethargic. So, because he came in from outside, and that's, I was giving him a um, scratch around his ears and his neck and found it. And um, so I'm surprised that there's still, you know, actually even, you know, moving around, because normally they're gone by now. So, all right, everyone, I think that's it. So, I pray that you all have a fantastic uh, Friday. Or, if you're already into Saturday, have a fantastic weekend. Um, yeah, and uh, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be well. And, okay, Jonah's going to make another entrance here. So, um, and uh, may you enjoy your weekend. And um, I pray that it all um, goes well and that you do a lot of stitching. If you're new here, thank you. 
If you're just passing through, thank you. Uh, perhaps you can, um, if you like what you see, and not everybody does, and I got you on that, because um, I know there are some um, channels that I I watch that I don't really care for. And um, it's, um, oh, no, he didn't have another wood chick. He's just got a scab there. So I don't know if he tried to get that wood chick out or what. I'm not sure. Here I am picking at him and that. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Yeah, okay. So, um, please consider subscribing because I would really like you as part of my family. And my family is growing. And I thank you all for sticking with me. And even when I rant and rave. <laughs> and when I get up on my soapbox. <laughs> which seems to be a lot more these days. But... Anyway, um, so, yeah, so, and for my returning subscribers, you know who you are. I thank you. I love you, each and every one of you, JJ, uh, Gigi, um, Claudia, uh, Jeannie, Natasha, Natalia, Laura, um, Claudia in Germany, um, uh, Brenda in BC, um uh, da, 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 da. Trisha um oh my gosh I don't I uh, I'm sorry Brenda oh yeah I already said Brenda um um I don't know but you're as soon as I see your names I go oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> so Anyway, have a fantastic day, and um, I will be on here again tomorrow, God willing, and um, I hope to see you then. And so from me, Ava, and Miss uh, Twinkle Toes down there, can you see her? And wherever Sir wine -Lot went to, Jonah. Um, and from, um, this beautiful area and this beautiful country of Canada that I call home. And, um, so thank you so very much. And I will say goodbye. Toodaloodles! <laughs> Toodaloodles, everybody! Talk to you soon. God willing. Bye!